Okay, Abnol's resolve. Let us return to Lipson and Lipson and deliver the good news to the Admiral. A word to the office of Bulwark Hall should be sufficient to secure an audience. Oh, somebody's got, got the mom out. What oh. did Savage? Why Captain Stoppable ever a welcome sight? Tidings for the Admiral, you say? Alright. Friends, what brings you here to stay? <coughs> it's true. A cure for tempering. Yep, have it at last. For a thought of it possible. Yet it is Admiral, we have done it. Here in Limsa, the production of more familiars have already begun. Grab my thanks, truly. This will do much to advance the cause of peace, yet I fear it will take more to close the rift. Man and beast. Even to just Wow, I struggled. Impossible is a word coined by the weak. I proclaim to all. Black Wolf, you have achieved the impossible again and again and again. attend the meeting
the founder what happened I don't know what's known about him. Play to him is. Then let's go to him. <clears throat> you could approach the pirates. The rest of us will seek out merchants and adventurers. Take a quick glance at it. If we're gonna be running up and down this place. <coughs> what? So what, we no longer have Grease Lightning as a thing? Oh, we have Grease Lightning. Oh, <gasps> no. Oh, now it's a permanent trade. But we still have Fist of Wind and such. So that says something. Increases movement speed. Oh, okay. Uh, Fish and Fire. And then we have Riddle of... And then we have Fist of Earth. Okay, so... Now, what was the new one that changed, too? There was another one. shift? No. Oh. Supposed to be perfect balance. Oh, this changes everything. Without the worry, without Grease Lightning stacks to worry about, it's like the entire job changes. That is very interesting.
It might make it easier to actually do... It might actually make it easier to play Monk now. For me. As am I, my friend, as am I. Sadly, I know nothing on the man save that the bloody executioner has experienced a marked improvement in their fortunes after his promotion. Wait. Permits us to tackle any Garlean vessels, yet these winners from the sea since the Empire turned itself. Abandoned you. So how then are they lining their coffers? They'd likely to share it with their rivals, but may have you have more luck. Oh. <coughs> Ow. Hmm. I know how, but Went it on. Found some clever way to make coin, they say, and trading it for. Gone in them days. All of us had to look the look for other ways. My, we do well enough guarding fishing boats from the fish packs. Little ones. Are So he's found a way to make money doing something else. Hmm. Now, who would you, who would like to go first? Not me. Mm -hmm. Never before, but no amount of Ha <laughs> 
<clears throat> Which means it's something bad. The price of crystal. Crystals? Oh! Oh! So they're take- So the pirates are taking- The bloody executioners are taking the crystals from the beast tribes so they can never summon the, uh, the uh, Titan or Leviathan. That a wholesaler of crystals have arrived in these all through the wares. At least I hope that's what I read. I hope it's not the other way. Man. Nah. I hope it's not the other way around, that they're supplying the Beast Tribes with crystals, but that would make no sense. Because that would mean they should have been able to summon Titan and Leviathan by now. So they have to be taking the cri The Bloody Executioners are taking the crystals from the Beast Tribes. But what are they using? And I guess selling them afterwards. But still, why not just tell others this? I guess they want to keep the profits to themselves. That's why they weren't at the meeting either. They would have to stop doing that, dude, in order to create relations between the beast tribes. <clears throat> uh, I keep up with that plot. Far away, apparently. What the? Oh, there we go. That appears to be our marching. What? Wait. How long did the Admiral Science, huh? Let me play the role of Pyre. Got <clears throat> this this way. Crystals to make staffs like that.
Oh God. Oh my God. That was so close. Why did he become interested with the staff, though? I didn't think that. went into the, that tunnel quietly. Quietly. Buy crystals. Why are we buying crystals? I'll buy them at a large... That's what they're doing. They're, they're selling crystals. They're crystal sellers. That's it. There's nothing wrong with this. I don't see anything evil here. So concerning. Acting captain of the Scion. I don't like this guy already. I mean... As long as they can't summon the primal, summon their gods, then we're fine with it. it be, but at the same time, there's something wrong with it.
That went better than we thought. I don't like him, though. Just the look on his face, it's just like, yeah, that's an evil person. They're up to something. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. I'll read priority to the command room. Yep, I'll join them. The future of Limsa hangs on the outcome of this meeting. I would have the science present to bear witness. That's what we've reached. All we gotta do is. Welcome aboard, Admiral. I'll wager you don't remember me. Sickard, acting captain of the bloody executioners, at your service. It was kind of you to invite us. Now, if Captain Hillfear has a message for me, I bid you speak it. He doesn't have a message. We are just the one demand. That you forget this bilge about making peace with the Beastmen. Ours is a nation of pirates. Always has been, always will be. Deny us our right to plunder, and you deny who we are. Too bloody right! Pirates till we die! 
till you die. We can arrange that. Piracy has no place in our future. What did he say? Pirates have no place. Our nation has prospered through piracy, it is true. Yet it is but one part of our long and storied history. Centuries ago, our ancestors led a failed rebellion and were driven from their homes with little more than the shirts on their backs. In fear of their lives, they sailed south until they came to these shores. Finding the land occupied by kobolds, however, they were forced to turn to piracy in order to survive. And survive they did. But not so long ago, when the Empire threatened to crush everything we'd built, we set aside piracy and joined hands with our neighbors. This, too, was in order to survive. And survive we did. Time after time we fought the Empire, and time after time <coughs> we won, and through trade with our newfound allies. We prospered more than we ever did through pillaging and plundering. The Empire teeters on the brink of collapse. Ere long, provinces like Whirlit and Bosia and many others will regain their freedom. When they do, our matchless fleet will lead the world in a new golden age of commerce. The tides favor us, and the ocean beckons with her vast bounty. But if we cling to the old ways, this great ship we call Limsa will trade the boundless seas for a lagoon. Shall we scorn the world's wealth for a plundered pittance then? Or shall we embrace change and thrive like our ancestors before us? The choice is yours. But if we are to prosper in the coming age, the whole of Vilbrand must become our ship, and a kobold and Zahagin our crewmates. Rousing words. Might even be some truth in them. But pirating's all we've ever known. And we ain't about to give it up just because you say so. Still, we're all the Minsons here, and no one wants a war. So where does that leave us? Long before you became Admiral, I heard you was captain of the League of Lost Bastards. That true? If so, you'd know how we pirates settle our differences. He's about to make the biggest mistake of all. A duel. Very well. As Admiral of Limsa Laminsa, I accept your challenge. Then again, I don't like this. This feels like it will be rigged. Remember, no trust a pirate in a duel.
I just watched her head just move to the side. This ain't oh. over. Not till one of us is dead. Finish the job. Or I will. Uh oh. Now the captain is up. It's the captain! Captain Elphir! Ye fool! Twas over afore it began! Captain! Seems the whelps have been yapping while their master was abed. Listen well, all of ye. Since the signing of the Galadian Accord, we all of us have been part of the same crew. The crew with a good ship Limsa Laminsa. At the helm of that ship is the Admiral. And tis she who decides where we sail. Was I not clear on that point? Or did you forget whose deck you stand on? Nay. Then why in the seven hells are you playing at? It's all we know, Captain. If we ain't pirates, what are we? You're bloody idiots is what you are. Idiots with your own lives ahead of ye. Ye can do anything ye want. Be anything ye want. We're pirates, I, And we pirates love our loot. But that ain't our first love. Our first love is the sea. The sea! And what she brings us! Freedom! So hold fast to that. Let the brine-crusted usk that stands before you now be the last of them as knew naught save out of steel. And make of yourselves a new breed of pirate! Lad... I made ye me right hand because I saw something in ye. And I still do. You have the makings of a captain. All you lack's the belief. <coughs> well now, it seems we're of one mind after all. Apologies for the misunderstanding, Admiral. We're with ye, wherever ye be headed. Good. <laughs> you have my thanks, Hilfir. The choice of dueling pistol did not escape my notice. Good old Annihilator. Ender of many a proud pirate's voyage. Mistbeards vanished into legend, and it won't be long before I take my rest in the depths. Yet be that as it may, the old ways can only truly die when we've dealt the Empire the telling blow. There'll be stormy seas ahead, no doubt. But I'm trusting ye to steer us through to the other side.
No, I anticipated a duel. I did not foresee the hell would intervene, but full glad I am. I kill the boy. I'm sad the well has learned a valuable lesson, and we have made peace among our labors. The great ship, Valbred. The infamous Annihilator Gun. Now I I need hardly tell you. <coughs> Wrestle for the grip of their gods. Leader of Titan's influence. Is it some fifty years pass when the The men shall go to bounty of the sea, the cabal shall go to bounty of the land. <clears throat> this is not history, you understand. This is the present, fresh and wrong. Mm -hmm. I will restore their stolen crystals to them and personally deliver the. Mercy. Yep. Means the leader will be there. Goods and I didn't even have a cure for temporary. <laughs> okay. I believe in you. <laughs> We're gonna do it. <coughs> oh. Oh.
Alpha wasn't lying when he said I'd be defended, so I'm counting on you to give me. We keep you out of harm's way, so leave it to us. It's on your own task. Pay the word. It might be better if he did come on. Hmm. Ozma. It could be a cube or a sphere. Once in a while, uh, um, triangle if you're in the water, but. Man, I remember spending hours in this place. Because I needed a thousand, um. I needed to do a thousand fates. for a trophy. Uh-oh. <coughs> <coughs> at this, all at this, all hell will break loose and we'll have an army of kobolds to entertain. Alright, so I guess, well, they're gonna do it. Wait a second. The parents? No. Oh. Greetings, Patriarch. I am Merlwib Lufisvin, Admiral of Limsa Lominsa. I come before you to offer my sincerest apologies for the many wrongs committed by my people against you and yours. to come here stupid unwise foolish there we go he's gonna do it the great father shall have your souls for your folly you think you'd be like do you see who stands Aye. before you just as we thought Pass. We must grant her as much time as we can. Protect Alizade! 
Wow. Is it so hard? Oh. Oh, what the? Oh, great, now I have every debuff on the book. No! Oh. No, 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 no! Oh. 
Oh my god, my hands <laughs> everything are back there. Guy's not very smart, is he? Okay, maybe he, no, he's not actually. Never mind. Well, did it work? What? Ah, ah. What is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, but they died by your hand. You sacrificed them to summon Titan. that there were a cure for the victims of the Tempered. summoning is false. He only hurts us and those we love. For a long time, his voice filled my mind. He told me to do terrible things. Awful, unspeakable, terrible things. But I didn't give in to it. And you mustn't either. There's been too much pain already. So please... End the suffering.
What... what have I done? We share this child's desire, Patriarch. An end to summoning, for it spells naught but misery for both our peoples. For many long years, man and kobold have feuded over territory, pillaging and perishing for the earth beneath our feet. It may be said that we fought to survive, but what we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. I would see us set aside the past and work together for peace. It was wrong of me to hurt my own in the name of the Great Father. Sinful, evil, wrong. But that doesn't mean there can be peace between us. Men cannot be trusted. The bounty of the land was to be ours, and yours the bounty of the sea. But you broke the pact. Violated, breached, broke. Unready as we were, what choice had we but to call upon the Divine to rid ourselves of your tyranny? None, and I do not blame you for it. In violation of the spirit, if not the letter of the pact, we took your lands for our own. The fault lies wholly with us. On behalf of all Lamincens, I offer you my humblest apology. I pray you'll find it in your heart to accept it. Yet I know an apology alone will not serve to make things right. So, we will revise the pact to leave no room for doubt. And any who violate it shall face justice swift and certain. No, we won't be fooled. Not again. Please, hear me to the end. Fleeting though it was, there was a time when man and kobold abided together in harmony, in cooperation. In those days, your people shared the secrets of smelting. Knowledge which allowed Limsa Liminsa to thrive. Much of what we have, we owe to the Kobolds. Oh yeah, you learned that, I think, from Black's thing, I think? Sorry. And so, for the <clears throat> good of all who dwell on this isle, I wish to make you an offer. We will bear your people's wares to every corner of the world and trade them in your stead. In return, we will bring you the bounty, not only of the sea, but lands both near and far. Whatever you desire, the Navigator as my witness, you shall have it. There will be no more man and beastmen, just the crew of the great ship that is Vilbrand. And together, we will share in the wealth of the world. If you'll only accept our hand in friendship. We want to believe you. We truly do. But we believed you before and you betrayed us. Fooled, deceived, betrayed us. There are bad men, it's true. But there are also good ones. And the ones before you are the best of them. They were always kind to me. Caring, nice, kind, and I trust them with my life. Before I became Admiral, I was a pirate. I stole. I fought. I stained the sea red with blood. 
Such is my past, and I dare not forget it. However much I might want to. That is death penalty. A pistol I used to pass judgment on my own sire when he fell thrall to Leviathan and betrayed his comrades. It's loaded. If you were to point it at my head and pull the trigger, I would most assuredly die. Are you sure about that? Because we've seen you dodge a bullet. We've seen you dodge when I aimed at your head. <laughs> Though it isn't much, my life is the single most valuable thing I possess. If it will suffice to atone for past wrongs, take it. A single bullet to annul the old pact and my blood to write it anew. What comes after, I entrust to this man, my second in command. I know that he will do his utmost for the happiness of all who call Vilbrand home. You need to aim a little higher, sir. I do not trust you. Not yet. But Gabu does. And I will trust him. We'll take that. We'll take that. We want you to know that we respect your faith. There's nothing wrong with giving thanks to the land which sustains you. But summoning is different. Should you hear of anyone who would attempt it, we ask that you appeal to their better judgment. Or failing that, seek our aid. We're always ready to help. Many and more of my brethren are yet enthralled to the Great Father, just as I was. If you could free them too, I would be grateful. Appreciative, thankful, grateful. Tis we who should be grateful, Patriarch. I thank you for affording us this chance. Wow. So, Annihilator and Death Penalty.
Future's Rewritten.